It's been 934 days since the last India Sri Lanka ODI clash. The teams had last played each other on November 16, 2014, when India beat Sri Lanka by three wickets while chasing 288. Well, talking about Champions Trophy, India and Sri Lanka have clashed three times in Champions Trophy history. Two of them happened in 2002, and both were washed out. The other encounter was at Cardiff in 2013. where India beat Sri Lanka by 8 wickets completing the chase in just 35 overs well having pulverized Pakistan by 124 runs India will start as favorites against Sri Lanka who looked out of form during their 96 run defeat at the hands of South Africa however the big worry is the fickle london weather which forecasts a 40% chance of heavy rainfall as much as Sri Lanka India would also be keen to beat the weather when the two sides meet today Both sides have played one match each and while India decimated Pakistan the Sri Lankans were handed a loss by South Africa but it looks like the weather gods may intervene yet again as they did during India's previous game making the equation that much more testing Virat Kohli will be left with an interesting choice of whether to set a score or chase since the Duckworth Lewis system that commands the scoring in rain affected matches did not do any favors in the Pakistan game Both the teams can't afford to set a good score and then have the asking great shaved off when they feel. But given the fact that India can set very heavy targets and then defend them, Kohli would likely to stick with plan A and field first. Well, Captain Virat Kohli has over the years been Sri Lanka's nemesis and the 81 not out against Pakistan is just the tonic he needed before taking on the likes of Lasith Malinga, Suranga Lakmal and Noan Pradeep. On the other hand, The fitness and form of Sri Lanka captain Angelo Matthews is a cause of concern while senior opener Upul Thuranga's two match suspension has added insult to injury. So people, who am I you supporting today? Is it team India or Sri Lanka? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and keep watching this space as we'll be back with more updates.